Hi event planners. My name is James and I'm here to help you to complete your Excel task more efficiently. And you guessed right, I am not a real person but a text-to-speech program, or in short TSS. In this video I'm going to teach you the following Excel hacks. To jump to a specific hack, listed on this content page, check out the description below this YouTube video. Are you ready? Great. Let's get started. Navigating your guest list with the control key. Let's have a look on this sample guest list which includes the familiar columns, guest first name, guest last name, number of total guests, company, and so forth. Such lists can contain a few hundred guest names but can easily increase to several thousand records. Instead of using your mouse wheel or the scroll bar, get used to utilizing the control key. Press Ctrl and the arrow symbol down to jump to the last record in your list. In the same way, press Ctrl and arrow symbol right to get to the last column of your sheet. Deleting multiple rows at once. When receiving guest lists, there are often header columns within the document which need to be removed before uploading the list to another system. Instead of deleting one row after another, hold the control key to select multiple rows at once and delete them. If you are dealing with larger guest lists, this may still take too long to complete the task. To apply an even faster way to delete all empty rows of a sheet, Use the filter function. Identify a guest list value which does not have any missing information for each record, in our case this would be the the first name or last name column. Apply a filter for this column by clicking on, sort and filter, filter. Click the drop down and remove the tick in the check box, select all. Scroll down and select, blanks. Your sheet should now only display the empty rows. Click on the first cell below your header, and use your keyboard to enter the shortcut, Shift, Control, and, to mark all rows. Now, select your Home tab, and click on Delete, Delete Sheet Rows. Finally, remove the filter, and all empty rows have been removed. Auto Fill Columns with the same values. To copy identical values for each guest into the same column, type the row label, A for example, into the first cell. After this drag the lower right corner down to copy the same value for the cells below. Double clicking on the left lower corner of fills all remaining cells of this column with the same value. Similarly, if you need to populate your sheet with an ongoing number, Type in 1 and 2 into the first two cells, mark both of them and drag them down. You can also skip numbers in this way. Faster copy and paste. To copy and paste you probably either use the right mouse button and select copy, or use the keyboard shortcut. Control C. You then click on the cell you like to copy into and select, paste, or use the keyboard shortcut, Control V. But did you already know that you can simply press, enter on your keyboard to paste? Split full names into first name and last name columns. You may receive guest lists in which guest names are in one cell but you need to split them up in a first name and last name column. To do so you can use the text to columns function. Copy the full name column into a new sheet, or make sure the columns next to it are empty. Mark column A. Click on the data tab on top, and click on, text to columns. Leave the setting as, delimited, and click, next. Select the check box, space, and click, next. Finally. Select a destination by clicking into cell B1 and click, Finish.
merge first name and last name into one cell. At times you may want to display the full name of a guest and therefore need to merge first names and surnames. To do so, you can use the concatenate formula. Ideally copy the first name and last name column into a new sheet. Then click into the top cell of an empty column and type equals, followed by, concatenate, and select the formula. After this click into cell A1, followed by a comma, quotation marks, space, quotation marks, comma, then click on cell B1, and press, enter. We have now combined cell A1 and B1 and define the required space between first name and last name. To apply this formula to all cells in this column, simply double click onto the lower corner of the first cell. Important note, when copying your data back into your original or a new Excel sheet, I recommend removing any formula. To do so, mark column, C, and click copy. Select cell D1 and paste as, values. This guarantees that your merged names remain, in case you delete or move the initial reference in column A and B. Fixing phone numbers. When receiving guest lists, you may often see phone numbers which are formatted incorrectly. This can cause errors when you try to re-import such lists into a CRM or check-in app. In this sample list of Hong Kong phone numbers, you can see several issues. There are common spaces between the first and last four digits, some phone numbers have a country code and some don't. Some country codes include the plus icon and some others do not have it. And some longer numbers show the scientific notation containing the letters, E+. Let's fix these issues. I recommend removing all spaces between the numbers first. To do so, you can just use Excel's Find and Replace feature. Mark the phone number column, click on the Home tab, followed by, Find and Select. Click on, Replace. Or use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl, H, to get there. Type in, space, into the Find What field and keep the replace with field blank. Click on replace all. We have now removed all spaces within that column. Next, we want to remove the country codes 852 or 00852 or plus 852 from all phone numbers. Hong Kong phone numbers all have eight digits. By knowing that, we basically just need to remove all numbers and characters in front of these eight, or in other words, only keep the last eight digits of that cell. To do so, we can use the following formula. Click on the cell next to your first number, and type, equal, right, click on the phone number in cell C2, comma, and type, 8, followed by, enter. Double click into the top lower corner of that cell to apply this formula to all cells below. Done. Sometimes, you may want to add the country code plus 852 to all your phone numbers. To do so, click on the cell next to the first phone number. Type, equal, quotation marks, plus 852, quotation marks, the ampersand symbol, and click on the phone number in the cell to the left, followed by, enter. Apply this change to all cells below with a double click. Highlighting and removing duplicates. A common task when managing guest lists includes identifying, cross-checking, and removing duplicate values. This sample list includes a few duplicate guests. We can spot Shirley Heard, Bryce Nix and Cheryl Randall for example. Let's activate Excel's Highlight Duplicates feature. Highlight your sheet or only particular cells and columns. Click on your Home tab, and on Conditional Formatting. Click on Highlight Cell Rules, Duplicate Values. Keep the current setting as Duplicate and click on OK. All duplicate values across each column of your sheet are now highlighted in red. When managing smaller lists, you may check each duplicate first name and last name value and delete the duplicate. Once you delete the duplicate record, the remaining cell will no longer be highlighted as a duplicate. You may also sort or filter your list by color to speed up this task.
when managing larger guest lists, use the Remove Duplicates function. To do so, click on your Data tab, and on the Remove Duplicates icon, which can be found within the Data Tools section. You may now select one or multiple columns. If your list has email addresses or phone numbers, these unique values are usually the best choice to remove duplicate guests. If however, let's say, a secretary, registered multiple guests with the same email address, you better choose all or at least, email, first name, and last name to check for duplicate values covering all these columns. Similarly, if your guest list only contains first name, last name, and company name, you better select all three to avoid Excel removing guests with the same common names. Once you are done, click on Conditional Formatting again and click on Clear All Rules from your sheet. Sometimes, we need to extract information quickly out of a given guest list. A common task includes, how many companies have registered up to this point. We cannot just sum up the company column which contains 39 records, because multiple guests are working for the same company. We therefore need to extract the total number of unique company records. To do so, click on the Data tab and on the Advanced button in your Sort and Filter section. Choose, Copy to another location. Define the list range. In our case, we select the D column which includes the company names. Next, select the copy to location by clicking onto an empty column, in our case, H. Finally click the check box, Unique Records Only and press, OK. The column now contains all unique company names. In total, 27. And this means that 12 duplicate records were removed from the original 39 records. Assigning a random number to each guest. We want to give each guest a 5 digit number in this sample list. To do so, you can use the randomize between function. Click on a cell and type, equals, rand between, and enter the starting number such as 10,000, comma, followed by 99,999 and press enter. Double click on the lower left corner to apply that formula to all cells below. You realize that each time you refresh the cell or formula, Excel assigns a new random number. To avoid this, copy the column and paste as, values. Please mind, this formula does not generate unique random numbers, so you may use the highlight feature to quickly check if all your numbers are really unique, and fix it if necessary. Click on Data, Conditional Formatting, and choose, Highlight Duplicate Values. Change the selection to, Unique, and you may change the color to, Green Fill with Dark Green Text. Press OK. Spotting only green and no red cells, tells you that all numbers are indeed unique. Get the number of total guests assigned to each table. When managing seated events, you may often face a list format which includes a table number column, in our case, column C. All 100 guests have got a table number assigned. You now like to know the total number of guests for each table. Instead of checking this manually, you can use Excel's subtotal and count feature. Select column, C, and click on your data tab. Click on, subtotal. Change the setting, use function, to count. You may also select the checkbox, page break between groups. Click on OK. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more event planners tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and happy event planning.